welcome back to the new exercise pipe routing now routing parts component has a, all the information is stored in inside the part so let's start with this assembly now we will start with this view front view now this is the flange and this flange size c slip on flange nps 5 inch there are 12 number of flange now you will see side view 35 in one direction then vertical 90 40 inch ah uh, here also the then there is a this all are in one plane so 35 it's 55 inch then 40 90 degree 45 inch 55 this is 60 inch 90 degree then this is also 90 inch ah uh, 90 degree this is 90 inch then comes down 30 inch now once you open assembly go to solid works add ins click solid works routing go to piping and here we will use start by drag drop method let's open go to design library routing piping the first is flanges just here check view origin so that we will match with origin just flip on weld flange just move your if you move near origin point c it is fixed with this leave now here you have to choose the dimension standard i slip flange 150 nps 5 inch okay would you like to save say yes and uh, let's say where we have to save exercise here replace now these are the routing properties this is going to be in sub assembly then this is the pipe dimensions inches weld gap means the gap between two components like gap between pipe and elbow pipe and flange so it's smaller it's up to you what you can give always use elbow once we turn the 3d sketch 90 degree it converts into elbow elbow also 5 inch 90 degree and this is the by default bend radius 7.5 inch say okay now look this is already started now just drag this here change unit ips once we, now it is if you see it is green means we are out of the routing so right click edit route that's perfect now here we have line command in this you will see this is 3d sketch now we entered in 3d sketch this is xy plane so move along with axis vertical now see this going this if you see blue dotted line means we are on the line so move cursor near okay now here we have to press tab key to change now that's it again here also press tab key because this is also like uh, 60 or something now here we have to go this then here we have to press tab key to go down now first let's define the dimension this is 35 now vertical length 40 inch and this is 55 inch 45 inch and this is also 35 plus 6 20 inch this one 90 inch and the this downward side is 30 inch say okay now there is two parts we have to first apply t here here also t and here also t at this 40 length the t distance 25 from here and this direction see 25 then there is a reducer 5 by 3 inch 
then this is 20 millimeter. Similarly, in this condition, 25 millimeter vertical, then reducer 3 by 5, 10 millimeter the vertical length, and uh, this distance 30 millimeter from this end. So, just go to T. Okay. Let's drag to this 40 inch length. Now, press tab key to change the leave. 5 inch. See, again move cursor here. And if you move on line, it will align. Click cancel. Smart dimension. Now, this distance 30 millimeter. And uh, this distance. 25 millimeter. Now, here we have to fix reducer. Drag this reducer to here. Leave 5 by 3 inch. Okay. Now, similar reducer move cursor here and it will fix leave. Cancel. Now, activate dimension and this length is 25 and this is 10 plus 10 is 20. Now, what else here? This is also 25 and the upper one is 10. Okay. Let us apply flanges at the end. If you move your flange it will automatically convert into 3 inch. See, 3 inch. Again, I move here. It is 3 inch. But if I move here, it has become 5 inch. See, NPS 5 inch. So, this is the beauty of routing. Now, let us add letter. Now, there are 3 valve. See, globe valve ASME B16.34. 3 number of end flange 155 inch. So, 1, 2, 3. Now, distance you will see 25 from this end, 50 inch from this end and this is 20 inch from this end. Wall. Now, here you will find globe wall. B. Okay, just move cursor. Not this one, escape key. This is the wall. Just press tab key ASME B13. This is the globe wall. Say OK. And they want to cut nipple. No. Fix here. No. And the last one fixed here. No. Cancel. Let us fix this dimension. 50 inch, 25 inch, and this one is 35 inch. That is it. Now, drawings are not able to directly made di uh, directly we can make like this. We have to apply some spools. We have to make in partition. You will see there is a flanges. See? So, that we will make in segment. We will make in spool. So, that spool we have to apply 18, 18 here, here 16, this one 15 and here 12. And this is also one wall applied 10 millimeter. Now let us go to flanges. Okay, let us apply this swing wall. Just move to this line, press tab key, leave. ASME B, okay, no. Cancel. Activate the smart dimension and this distance 10 millimeter. Say OK. 
now that's it now let's apply flanges to all area slip on weld flange 5 inch say okay now here we we want we want to create a spool so we have to apply two flange if you move near and it will show you okay again if you move near and it will show you a relation a mat similarly don't assign here and there otherwise it makes problem now in between this now where okay let it be cancel let's apply dimension a smart dimension this length shows 18 mm this is also 18 mm and this one 16 mm now these length are 12 mm and this is 15 mm now see our drawing is fully defined see we made all the things perfectly if you want to exit and define a spool so let's say this blue color 1 2 3 these lines here keep visible say okay now again change the next color red second spool let's say this one say okay third color let's say green and in third one two okay this is comes up to here say okay fourth green then orange this one this one this one okay up to this flange yes then fifth spool 5 let's say blue in spool 5 up to here okay now spool 6 for 6 let's say pink and this one this one okay this all comes in pool 6 say okay cancel if you drop down the menu here you will see it's pool 1 see if i am going to select all one by one you will see all colors we defined because these are the breaking points where you have to apply flange and it will be in like this so this is the simple tutorial if you want to export this okay i'll tell you go to piping and here you will find pipe drawing now model content within the assembly have changed would you like to rebuild the assembly yes now see if you change like this now here see all the pools will be separate this is the drawing sheet you, you can change it from here landscape include auto balloon route bom say okay now once you say okay it will ask you would you like to add pipe length say yes and it will see look here we added all the flange and pipe and everything see so this is how we did a simple tutorial pipe routing tutorial in solid works i hope you learn and now here we selected wrong valve 
so we have to replace c now fr from here you can hide this all routing points origin and everything you can hide it from here even though even let's hide 3d sketch okay right click and here we have one option replace fitting okay now see here now here you have to browse browse and you will redirect it to the pipe valve now here you will find keep all files here and here we have to replace with globe valve not gate valve open here match name reattach mat say okay look this is changes this is what we like to keep now if we ch choose pool and you will find so don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching